The anointed candidate of the former governor, Ayodele Fayeshe, wins the the state PDP primaries. And how can we inspire the youth to contribute to the running of the country? This is Plus Politics, and I am Justin Akadone. Uh, B.C. Kolaole, the preferred candidate of former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshe, emerged the candidate for the People's Democratic Party. In the upcoming poll, after winning the party's primaries, Kolaole pulled 671 votes to defeat his close rival, former governor Shegoni, who got 330 votes out of a total of 1,200 delegates that participated in the primary, out of which 1,185 votes were cast. As for the other candidate, former member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Wali Aribishala, scored 56 votes. Former Deputy Governor Kolakbo Eleka, 93, Ayodele Kazim, 6, while Kayode Adaramodu scored 10 votes. Joining us now to discuss the events that took place during the primaries is Larry Olayinka. He is the Director of Media and Publicity of the BC Kolawale Campaign Organization. Good evening to you, Larry. Many thanks for joining us on Plus Politics. Yeah, good evening. Yes. So just run us through uh, how um, uh, the whole process went um, yesterday. Was it really peaceful? No, you, you, the, 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 you all saw it. It was, it was streamed live. It was shown on, it was televised live on TV. You all saw a free, fair, and credible process. The process is, if we have, if we have an, uh, conducting an election like that in Nigeria, there won't be cries about electoral malpractices. The process was free. It was fair. And the other, every other, all the aspirants uh, admitted that the, the process was free and fair and credible, transparent. All right, uh, but still yesterday we had reports of, uh, you know, folks that were allegedly arrested uh, who were trying to uh, maybe mar the process of the primaries yesterday. Can you feel us in? Well, we, 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 we had the soldiers at uh, Taure, Taure Stoke from Alaye Junction at around 3, 3 a.m. yesterday, arrested over 150 people who long stops, who, who, who were coming to Ekiti. And uh, uh, weapons were found on them, guns, uh, that was day guns, um, the cutlasses, uh, knives, charms, and all that. And the, 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 they were arrested by soldiers. And as at, at yesterday morning, like uh, 9, 10 a.m., the information we had was, was that they were taken to Akure. That's the, they were taken to the military barrack in Akure. That is the far, that, that, that is how far that, I, that, I'm, that I'm aware of. All right, fine. Let's t talk more concerning the primaries. Uh, would you say that um, all of the issues that were pending, you know, before now, you know, were resolved before all the aspirants, you know, went into the primaries uh, for yesterday? Look, you, in, in life, in life, you cannot resolve all, all issues. You cannot finish resolving in politics. There will always be issues. The ones that are available, the ones that are there, you resolve them. That's why I resolve them. Other, other issues are, are coming up. The most important thing is for you. To to have a process that order that help that like 90, 80, 90 percent will accept. The issues were restored to some extent. I am aware that uh, some people made uh, made the, uh, the complaint about the adult adult congress held on, the, on January 15, and and the stakeholders meeting was held in, in Abuja on Monday, and it was the, it was a consensus for the stakeholder that the, the adult the delegate congress should be should be cancelled. That the, the party agreed and cancelled it. And it was also a, a consensus from the stakeholders that existing delegates, that, uh, that's five, uh, five, five world ESCO, in one of five wards out of 177, and, uh, 18 local government ESCO, and, and the state ESCO should be used, including automatic delegates. That's what the stakeholders agreed, and that, that's what was done yesterday. Okay, so how did the parties uh, uh, go, how did it go about arriving at these um, automatic delegates to aspirants? You don't you don't arrive at automatic delegate. There are people who are designated 
like former governors. They are former governors. It's not they are not people that you begin to you begin to shop for. They are known former governors, former deputy governor, former governorship candidates, former deputy governor candidate, former House of Rep members, former House of Reps, uh, former senators, former former National Assembly candidates, former House of Assembly candidates or House of Assembly members, principal officers. Those are the people that, that are designated as automatic candidates. The one that are called statutory delegates are five, five ESCO from the world. That is the world chairman, five chairman, secretary, woman leader, and youth leader. Then all the, there are 18 local, the 18 ESCO in the local government. Those ones are also statutory delegates. Then state ESCO, those are statutory delegates. So they are not, they are, it, it, anybody, anybody who is a PDP member must be aware of this. All right. Uh, would you say all of um, those who um, participated, uh, the the aspirants, uh, really are in in a continent with um, the outcome of this? Because uh, there were reports uh, specifically uh, of um, alleged irregularities with the accreditation of delegates. You see, you see, in every process in Nigeria, especially in Africa, people who uh, who, 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 who know that they are not going to be able to make it in the, in, a, in that kind of arrangement, they will, they will start by making allegation as or founded as so to say, because the people the, the committee led by the acquired of state governor who the who who came to conduct the congress the congress were given a list of delegates. They did not generate the delegates by themselves. They brought the list of delegates, including electoral materials from from the national secretary at Abuja. So it, their own was to conduct a, a, the primary election, not to even not to even remove or add to the delegates. But the there were talks. There were there were talks of um you know that particular list and being doctored. How true? Can you um substantiate there on that? No, there is no how anybody will doctor a list because they did not generate the list. You cannot doctor what did not come from you. You cannot remove names from. It's just like it's just like I make uh, I make voter register. And you now say that uh, elect, uh, electoral officer at the polling unit or polling unit staff, polling poll post staff, polling unit uh, staff of INEC will now will now remove somebody's name from the photo register. It's not possible. That's not possible. It can, it can never happen. All right, let's let's just uh, read out something, some you know deferring um, opinion here. One of the you know as aspirants that Senator Biodun Olujimi, you know, she pulled out of um the uh, the primaries and and she cited you know um, alleged irregularities. Uh, she said that she could not be a part of a political process that had excluded party delegates who are mainly her supporters adding that the development runs against the tenets of participatory democracy. I need you to comment on that. Well, the, I, 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 think, I think you also need to go back to Senator Lujumina and ask her how were those people from our local government excluded? We had what Congress, what, what local government and state Congress is in 2020. It's going to two years now. During uh, the day we had, we had what Congress, Materials for the Eastern Boy local government were hijacked. So the two local governments were cancelled. Congress did not hold there. Normally, the two Congress in the local government ought to have uh, ought to have been done after. But unfortunately, Olujimi and the people went to court. They went to court, they tied the hands of the party. The party could not conduct Congress Congresses in those two local governments. And up to now. The matter went from lower court, appeal court, is still at the Supreme Court. So you don't expect the party to now go again. You are the one who you are the one who went to court. So if, if you go to court and you are now suffering, you are now suffering the consequence of your action. You cannot you cannot go about blaming people. Then again, where there are no automatic delegates from those two local government, there are automatic delegates. So people from Make It X actually voted. People from Bunny local government voted yesterday. But let me also tell you, uh, Senator Lujimi, it is like I like I, like I've told people today, it is her right to say she wants to contest. It is also her right to say she's no longer contesting. In 2018, she bought form saying that she was going to contest. In the morning of 2009, in the morning, in the morning of or the day of the primary, she announced that she was no longer contesting, that she has stepped down. So yesterday too, she said she was no longer contesting. So what happened yesterday? was not the first time. 
So we are we see somebody who uh, uh, I want to contest, I want to contest. Later, I say, you know, they contest again. That is all right. And we said, she said, that to do it. Or could it be that um, she believes um, that um, there is no credibility or that um, there's still pending issues and she could not really be part of it? Well, she was not the only aspirant. Other aspirants took part in the process. Other aspirants took part. So the credibility of a process cannot be determined by the mindset, by the opinion of one person. Other people took part. Other, other people have judged the, as, as I speak with you, Professor Lekka has issued statement congratulating the winner. Kao Diara Modu has issued statement congratulating the, the winner. Others are also, also doing the same. Before I came to this place, uh, Otumba, Otumba Yenga Krele was with, was with us to board meeting with his people that he has come to say, okay, I'm part of, I'm part of this, the party must win election. The same thing, the Latif Ajidola. So people are already accepting, people have accepted what happened yesterday. All right, fine. Uh, people have accepted, but let, uh, something really happened ahead of the election. One of the, the chieftains in your party, that uh, uh, Pastor uh, Yemi Olayinka, had actually urged the, the Iyocha Ayu led um, APC uh, Working Committee to rescue the party from jeopardy. That's what he said by conducting the primary with only super delegates. You know, I, just, I, re I really need you to comment on the issue of uh, uh, super delegates and um, how that in any way would actually have affect uh, the chance of the party uh, yesterday? Well, super delegate, like I told you, are people, uh, former this, former that, former state committee members, former net members, former BOT, those are the ones that are cost part. I think they are about, about 200 or thereabouts. So, but would you say that people who are, who, 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 are, who are holding offices, and by virtue of the office they are holding, they are entitled to, to be a delegate to vote? Will you now say, oh, they should not be allowed to vote? So that, so that those people can now go to court tomorrow and say they were not allowed to vote in this, in this election no, and get the process nullified? This is, people, people in, 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 out of emotion, out of sentiment, they come out with all kinds of suggestions because they feel that they were not comfortable with the. And, and why would you also say that? What ESCO? What ESCO? Because my, my, my brother is. is, 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 is Pastor, Pastor Yemo Laika is, is a good brother to me. But in, in some cases, we allow political sentiment to be cloud our sense of reasoning. And that was, that, was, that, was, that was the only reason somebody can express opinion that somebody who, somebody built the house, he owns the house, but he should not be allowed to sleep, to sleep in the house because of some, something or something. So the, the World Expo were elected. The people who took them to court, lost at the lower courts. They lost at the appeal court. So by virtue of that judgment of the appeal court, they are they are validly elected ESCO of PDP at world local government and state level. And they should be allowed to enjoy the benefits of their of the office that they occupy. If anybody is saying that they should not be, 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 they should not function, then that person is not being fair to the party. All right, uh, Larry, let's talk more about the People's Democratic Party uh, in AKT State. It, you will agree with me that it has, you know, been enmeshed with uh, lots of bottlenecks, even, uh, you know, litigations, you know, for about uh, three, four years since 2018. You know, how would you say the party really is doing in AKT State, judging by some of these, uh, you know, what I call them uh, frictions among um, chieftains? Is it conflict? And conflict resolution is part of politics. Even, even, even among family members, they have conflict. Even well, why, why, why sharing family, family inheritance? People go to court. So there are always the crisis. Crisis will always be resolved. It, you should, we should also not, did not begin to sensationalize issues. In APC, that is a government inequity. Today, they said they, 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 they had their primary. We saw pictures, we saw videos of protest. Calling the governor, fire governor, calling the, the, the state governor, governor, how they fire me, all kind of unpredictable names. So it is, it is everywhere. There we have our own issues. We are resolving them. We have resolved them. The ones that will come up today, tomorrow, will still resolve them. So I'm not going to say that we are perfect. That the, that the, even in, even in churches, they have issues. They go to court, not not to talk of uh, political parties. So we are we are home and dry. We and let me also tell you, when people are looking for power. All kind of things happen. The moment you get the candidate, it is the duty of the party members to skill behind the candidate and make sure that the party. It is the party first. Now, 
Some of us were with Bisikola Wale, he was our aspirant. Now Bisikola Wale is a candidate. He's a candidate of PDP. Larry, are you still there? Yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm with you. All right, fine. I still need to talk more about um, party primaries, uh, you know, how it is conducted, uh, you know, in Nigeria. You just mentioned about um, how the APC went with its own and there were, you know, uh, scuffles um, among some party members. You even talked about how they called um, the the governor some unprintable names. Uh, even yesterday, you, there was a little bit of um, some confusion, you know, why uh, some um, people pulling out, you know, from the primaries just yesterday. So if you were to talk about um, how we conduct um, primaries in Nigeria, would you really say that uh, we are actually headed in the right direction? What are we not really doing right? What have we failed to see? Let me, let, let, let me say this first and foremost. When, the, when, when they came with this issue of direct primaries, the National Assembly, uh, why, why, why doing this electoral amendment and whatever, that they, 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 they made direct primary compulsory. For, and I was among those who, oh, those who kicked against it. Some of, us, some of us were saying like, oh, because some, because some who do not really understand the rudiments of this, they don't, they don't understand the issues. They thought that, oh, because we are afraid of facing the, 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 the party people. Look at what, is, what happened in the PC today. What happened is people, people who, were, who, were, who, were, who were to go to local government as electoral officers, those who were appointed in the APC, were known supporters of one of the aspirants. It's just like as as PDP was going to do primary was doing primary yesterday. Imagine me, imagine somebody like myself being part of the electoral committee. You should know that the process is already skilled in, in, in support of somebody. Today, the, the, you, you only had, there was nothing like primary election. Then again, how can you do primary election without knowing the number of vote, voters? without knowing the vote to expect. Because that is the first thing to determine an election that will be credible. When you are going to an election, you must know the number of people that, the number of votes you are expecting. In direct primary, you don't know, you don't even know the number of people that are going to vote. That is why in the APC, they will conduct primary, they will give you figures. In Kano, in, 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 in during the presidential primary in 2019, APC, APC returned 2.9 million votes for President Buhari. During the main election, how many votes did they have? Did they get? In, 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 in that 2019, in Lagos, Governor Sowolu had 950 votes plus, 950,000 votes plus to win PD, to win to win APC APC uh, uh, governorship ticket. How many votes did they get? That meaning that 950,000 plus APC members voted for him. To emerge as candidates. But during the main election, he only had 750,000 vote plus. So, what happened to those APC members that voted for him during their direct primary? So, that direct primary to me is a fraud. And that is why PDP has maintained its stand on indirect primary. So, in we know the, the number thing. of delegates. Yesterday, we know the delegates that were coming to vote. So we are, when we are accredited them yesterday, we announced the number accredited. 1,887 or so, so I can't remember the figure now. So we know who number of people that are, that are coming to vote on like direct primary that they will see in the I'm serious. Larry, uh, yeah. Let, yeah, let's still just talk about, since you've mentioned about, uh, you know, the credibility and some of the issues that happen during the primaries and uh, not really knowing the exact number of people who are going to be delegates. You know, there is an Electoral Act amendment, you know, right now, you know, and uh, there was some back and forth as regards uh, direct primaries, indirect primaries, and of course, a consensus, uh, you know, I mean, um, primaries as well. Uh, um, candidate, that is. Do you really think, or do you believe in, the, in, the, in this new amendment Act, I do you think to actually address some of these bottlenecks that we have, you know, the pre election matters and, of course, uh, election and post election matters? You see, one of the things I like in this amendment is one electronic transfer of results. The moment you vote, your vote should be transferred from the, from the, from the polling unit to the final quality center. You see, the, the, pro, the, the, the point at which election are rigged is, is between the world, the polling unit and the world. So if you 
if you remove that, if you look at the last election in Anambra, you also see that incident form, incident forms were not used for accreditation. And that is the moment the moment INEC is able to take away the use of incident form for accreditation. If you want to vote, use take take, take your voter's card. And I also saw INEC using using the using by by modern uh, 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 process. Mm. That is that, that for uh, uh, instead instead of the not the user card reader that they use, that will also read face spaces to be able to identify that are you really the owner of the voter's card. So, I, apart from the issue of uh, direct, that primary that the National Assembly member decided decided to, to voice on Nigeria, because because even the National Assembly people that, that injected that direct primary, they did so not because they not for the interest of Nigeria. It was because they, they thought that by using direct primary, they will be able to to, to checkmate their their state, their state governors who are like state governors are like are like are like lords. In, in terms of party party politics, but unknown to them, direct primary is the easiest form of primary election for anybody to manipulate. So I I my 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 concern is I don't know I don't know where President President Buhari is, is going to is going to append the signature to this new amendment. I hope that he's going to he, he will do that as soon as as soon as the the clean bill the, the, clean, the clean copy of that. Of, of the bill that the National Assembly passed get to him so that we don't we don't also begin to also to now put pressure on him, clamor and beg him to sign again. Let him sign this. If, All right, Larry. If, if, Okay. Hello. Very quickly, very quickly. Of course, the president will definitely sign the, the amendment um, act. But I just want to ask him very quickly as we round off, we are completely out of time on this particular segment. Uh, now, what are the chances of the PDP as they go uh, to polls, you know, uh, later this year in Ekiti State? You see, the PDP is the is the predominant party in Ekiti, and even even the predominant, but they're not ruling right now. PDP is. I'm. I'm coming. I'm. I'm, I'm getting to that. I'm coming to that point. I have challenged Governor Fire me many times to put Holy Bible on his chest and swear that he actually won the 2018 election free and fair. He did not win, but the court has said that he won. We are not going to go to that. But now people have seen even that fraud that was imposed on them, and that fraud that was imposed on them, they have seen the, they have seen the government that they don't know, they cannot see. It's a government that they cannot see. Many people, many, many people don't, don't even know who their government is, is. It does not stay in the It does, does not stay here. There's nothing in the city to show that there is government. There is security issue everywhere. Yesterday, two people were killed between Oni on and on on Idu and Oni. People are being killed every day with, with the government saying nothing. So people know that they need a change of government. People who have equity know that the only time they have experienced government was when PDP was in power. The infrastructure development you see in equity were the ones done by PDP government. There's no, there's, there's no two ways about that. So right. we are sure of winning. The only thing, we, the only thing some of us are saying is that President Buhari should try, should try, in the name of Allah. In the name of Allah, he should try and leave a legacy for Nigerians. He came, he came to power via a free and fair election. He should leave that legacy of giving Nigeria free and fair election. All right, thank he you, Larry. All right, um, thank you, Larry. That's indeed a, as much as we can take on this particular discourse. We have been looking at the PDP primary in the state, which held um, Wednesday, and that uh, we were joined by Larry Olayinka, Director of Media and Publicity, BC Kolawale Campaign Organization. We indeed appreciate your time and input on the show this evening. Uh, thank you. All right. <laughs> Well, thank you for staying with us, Nigerians. We'll take a short break on the show, and when we return, we'll meet a young person who would be running for a seat in the State House of Assembly. Details in a moment to join us again.